Okay, today I'm going to explain about the small change, which is the Form 4 MS chapter for the differentiation. Okay, first, before we start to do this kind of like partial question, so let me do a little bit explain on what is the small change. Okay, in small change, you have a very important formula, which is what we call dy dx will equal to change of y over change of x okay this is a formula i call it very important formula in small change okay this is a very important formula in small change okay for example for example if she asks you to find okay this one we read is change of y and then this one we read is change of x okay let's say if the question asks you to find about the change of y so we can come out the formula by ourselves doing the simple algebra so we move the change of x to that side so we've got this is called dy dx multiple change of x see actually you can easily explain come out a lot of formula by yourself or let's say is if you want to find change of x change of x maybe will equal to change of y multiple dx dy so you can change this one by yourself but then make sure you remember this formula in order to solve almost all the small change all the small change uh, question okay okay so do not waste your time let's come back to this question Okay, so I just erase this one. Okay, in this question, what he mentioned is given a function y equals to 4 over x cubed expressed in terms of k, the approximate change in the y. So he asks you to find the approximate change in y when x changed from 2 to 2 plus k. Okay, so over here, what I know is that okay, this is the old value of x and then this one is the new value of x it's the new values of x okay, this is the old, old values of x okay, so so in order to find change of x see, x change from 2 to 2 plus k, right? so in order to find change of x we have to understand this one actually is the new values of x minus old values of x okay so from the example we have over here the new values the new values of x will be 2 plus k and the old values of x is 2 so i just put in new values of x is 2 plus k minus the old values of x which is x then we can find how much change for x right so this one is uh, sorry this is not x this is k, uh, this is 2 okay old values of x is 2 so this is 2 plus k minus 2 we still left k therefore change of x equal to k okay if you got the change of x equal to k yes then what he wants in this question, he asks you to express in terms of k the approximate change in y. So you want to find approximate change in y. So I say we got one formula which is very important, which is what we call dy dx equals to change of y divided by change of x. So now he he wants to find change of x, uh, change of y. So I move the change of x to that side. So therefore okay change of y will equals to dy dx multiple change of x okay so now i got change of x already change of x is equals to k and then i need to find dy dx i need to find dy dx from this given equation so this is very simple so over here i have y equals to 4 over x cubed so what i do first step is i 
I convert this one, the bottom, to the indices form called y equals to 4x negative 3. Okay, then I start to differentiate. Differentiate is very easy. We call dy dx. So differentiate, what we do normally is we move the power to in front and then the power we minus 1. Okay, so we move the negative 3 to in front, we got negative 3, multiple, 4, and then x, negative 4 minus 1 is, and negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Then these two we have to multiply. So negative 3 multiple 4 obviously is negative 12, x power of negative 4. So this is dy dx, right? So I just change, change this one back to the fraction form called negative 12 over x power of 4. Okay, here, because in this question, he didn't tell you what is the x value. So, you must substitute the x value into the dy dx, then only you can find the values of dy dx. So, you must always know, actually, this x value is the O values of x. So, O values of x is, from here, you can get the O values of x is 2. Right or not? Because 2 is the old values of x. So remember this step. Because a lot of students might take the new values of x, then you will got it wrong. We always substitute the old values of x, which is 2. So I, I substitute back here. So I will write when x equal to 2, then when x equal to 2, then we will got dy dx will equal to negative 12 divided by r2 power of 4 which is negative 12 over 16, which is negative 3 over 4. Okay, now we got the dy dx, so let's come back here. Okay, we got this one equal to k, so I just substitute in, so change of x is equal to k. Okay, multiple, the values of dy dx over here we got is negative 3 over 4, so I just put in negative 3 over 4 equal to change of y therefore I just solve this one this one is very simple so therefore change of y will equal to negative 3 over 4k this is the answer this is what the meanings of express in term of k means your answer can have the k there you don't need to find the values of k so the approximate change in y so approximate change in y will be negative 3 over 4k okay this is very simple, just make sure you memorize this formula, you can solve most of the simple uh, question over here. Okay, so this this I think in exam is three three to four mark question only. Okay, so let me go to another small change question. I think this one will be more complicated a bit. Okay, let me erase this one. Okay, let's have a look on this question. He says, given that y equals to 27 over x cubed, find the values of dy dx when x equals to 3. Okay, so we do the first step first, then only we, we do the below part. So this one, I just do it quickly because it's very simple. So y will equal to 27 over x cubed. So 27 x negative 3. Okay, write in indices form and then we differentiate it. What I'm saying is very simple. You just make sure you bring the power to in front and then your power minus 1. Always remember the differentiation rule. So you will got negative 3 multiple 27 and then x will be negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So this one is what we call negative 81 over x power of 4. Okay, he asks you find the values of dy dx when x equal to 3. So I write when x equal to 3. So the dy dx will equal to negative 81 over 3 power 4 because x equal to 3 what? So 3 power 4. Lah. So it's very simple. This one called 81 over 81 which is negative 1. Okay, now I get the values of dy dx which is negative 1. Okay, I done the first part. Okay, then the second part. He asks you estimate the values of of, of this fraction okay in order to estimate the value of this fraction you need to know a new formula okay that formula called new values of y 
new values of y will equals to old values of y okay plus change of y okay this one is very make sense one you want to find the new values of y of course you just take your old values of y and then you plus the change of y one because old value of y and then you change uh, he got some change over here then you got the new values of y so this this one actually is a very important formula in order to solve this kind of question of course I, for me i don't really remember this formula because it's very common sense okay new values of y will equal to old values of y plus change of y okay so over here we know how to find change of y right yes because we have this formula I say dy dx will equals to change of y over change of x so therefore change of y will equals to dy dx dy dx this is y uh, multiple change of x uh. I just got my dy dx which is negative 1 I just got my dy dx is negative 1 and then I need to find my change of x okay this is the this is the challenging part okay because a lot of students did not see the change of x you see on the top plus over here he said when x equal to 3 okay so if I put the 3 on the bottom here now the 3 on the bottom already become 2.96 do you see that the 3 on the bottom okay this is the or original so I consider this one is the old value so I write it here y equals to 27 over 3 cubed okay assume this is the old value and then this one is the new value okay so change of x will form uh, will from 3 become 2.96 correct or not so over here I can write out my change of I can write out my change of x so therefore from here I can get my change of x will, will become I say change of x will equal to the new values of x okay new value of x minus old value of x okay okay this one is very common sense okay so what i do is the new values of x over here is 2.96 so it will be 2.96 new one is a new value huh? minus the old value is 3 minus 3 this is the old value so it's very simple it's 0 0.04 this one is change of x so therefore change of y will equals to dy dx multiple change of x zero, uh, negative 0 0.04 sorry multiple negative 0 0.04 negative multiple negative i will got positive positive 0 0.04 this is change of y okay then we got this one now we have to find the old values of y how to find the old values of y it's very simple do you have o value of y you just solve this one then you can get the y so this one very easy to solve one okay 3 cube become 27 so y equals to 27 over 27 y equals to 1 this is the o values of y because the new values of y okay this is the new values of y we still do not know yet what because he asked us to estimate the value so we do not know yet but then we know the y values of y based on the equation given and then i substitute the old values of x into it then i can get y equal to one okay if you got this one then yes you almost got the answer so you just substitute in you just substitute in all values of y equal to one and change of y we got it just now is 0 0.04 so therefore new values of y what is the new value of y over here? It's 27 over 2.96 cube, right? 27 over 2.96 cube will equal to this one. So you just plus together 1.04. This is the answer. Okay, after you got the answer, it's very good that you always check your answer. So you just take out your calculator, okay? And then you just press whatever you have over here. This is called 27. So I press 27 okay you divide you can press divide or you press over so i press divide i put the bracket 2.96 power of 3 okay then 
You see the answer? Actually, I will got 1.04 also. Okay, so you see here, I will got 1.04. Mean my answer is correct. So after you you get the new values of y, means this one he asks you to estimate the value. You can always check your answer by press the calculator, then you can get the correct answer. Okay, so I hope these two examples can help help you a lot in the small change. Okay, if you have any question or any comment, you just post on the on the on the below lah. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching the video.